Hi, uh, in this video we will learn about how to uh, implement the forget password. So after we did the registration, then login. Now coming in flow is the forget password. So in order to know, let's get to the coding. So the coding, the XML layout I already designed. Uh, so as you can see, we have two like labels. One is forget password title, then headline, then email, and with edit box, and then send button and same is the case uh, for the kotlin class we have like uh, already created some of the function like the validation function and the observer in order to save time so now after this uh, i have already created a view model function for example i will pass an email to that function after calling that function it will call another function which is existing in the repository and will pass that email and in the repository implementation in the repository we are calling a function inside the firebase auth class so which is called send password recent link and we are passing that email which we get from the uh, user and then we have two callbacks listener add-on complete and the other one is missing add-on listener so i will copy from there and uh, paste it there okay so <clears throat> okay so we will make it that error text as it is like this so that's the repository call so once we get any response from the library firebase then we have a lambda function which will trigger there uh, and work then going through the view model and we will pass that result to through the live data to the fragment so in the fragment we are observing there uh, sorry that one is the login it should not be login it should be forget password because we are currently observing forget password live data so uh, yeah we have the states loading failure and success so in the success in case the password recent links uh, actually sent to the email in that case we will get a, a success message i mean the success listener will trigger there so we will uh, check the email uh, inbox and you will get a link from the firebase in order to recover that so uh, let me just call that function first we have button send uh, let me check the button id what should be the id id forget password button okay binding forget password button set on click listener then check validation if that is true then call the function uh, forget password binding email takes to string so that is pretty much and one thing is more we need to link that screen from the login to navigate to the forget password I already added that fragment there and i will just add a navigation between them and then from the login we will call from the login we will navigate to that forget password here it is login to forget password so i guess we are pretty much done with the forget password okay uh, i think i forget uh, any of the password or account so let's just create a new one in that case i will So currently we don't have the logout functionality at the moment so actually that is on my list so i will cover that later once i done with the session handling for now i will just simply delete the application from mobile and we'll run the app again so after deleting the application so i run it again and this time we are using the forget password just assuming that i don't remember any password what which i recently registered the account so i am using that email again and this time i will click on send email has been sent so let's just check it out if we are getting email or not i will go to the email box and will check if i am getting the email from the firebase or not so i paused the video because i wasn't getting the email uh, it's like been 30 minutes i have been waiting and i thought 
there might be something wrong with the code but i checked that the code is working fine but what i what i just observed that 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 email just go to the spam folder so in that spam i just found that so the email is actually getting but they are throwing into the spam folder so that's how like uh report not to spam okay now we'll check in the inbox yes so that's how you are getting that uh, link from the firebase and it will look like this if i click on it it will be redirect to another window in the browser and will ask for me to create a new password for that account and we will use that password to log into that account so uh, this time i will use let's suppose one two i will just three four five six seven and i will click on save so the application is running i will first try the old password if that is working or not so that was the old password is actually test one two three four five six authentication failed check email and password so probably the password has been changed uh, okay no 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 i'm not going to recover that again i will go back there and we'll type the password again what was that one two three four five six seven in this time oh man we need to create another link because the password should be add character and i have put that condition on it i will again simply click on it and let's see if this time how much it will take time to get that email from the firebase email has been sent i will go there in box i will wait for a minute and to see if i am getting or not quickly okay here we are so it's actually approximately took uh, a minute as you can see one minute ago and i will click on that link again and this time we will use the correct password so let's just put it there uh, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and click on save. Go back. There is another bug, as you can see, the toast message is showing again and again. We will fix that later in another video. Okay, this time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's just click on login. Boom! Here we are so that's how the forget password is actually working what we just did is like uh, to put that uh, email in the edit box and pass that to the view model and then that e from the view model it is go to the repository and it just send that uh, email link uh, with the help of this function auth repository and that is actually send password recent link so you will have just to wait for a minute or two if you are not getting any email make sure you have checked the spam folder sometimes it goes to there and yeah from there uh, you will click uh, on the link and to to actually create a new password for it so that's how pretty much regarding to the forget password